All right, friends, it's Queen Jelly here. And once again, it's time for the next part of our unboxing saga. So I'm very excited. We're moving on to Ms. Bella Parker over here. Um, this is actually one of the dolls that I did have my eye on before doing this splurge. Um, she's definitely one, especially like this collection was literally the one that I saw that I was like, I need the pink girl. So very excited. Um, lots and lots of rainbow high branding on here. But anyway, let's get started. Once again, you can see I got this one also from Target. Uh, again, just a reminder, I am not sponsored by Rainbow High or by Target. I did pay for these dolls with my own money. Uh, speaking of price points, again, I got all of these on sale, but uh, she usually uh, retails around 31 Um she does have her name is Bella Parker um I'm not 100 sure what color tone she is I don't know if that's still a reference to a color because to me that doesn't seem like it but again I'm completely oblivious to these kinds of things so um once again we find this handle at the top there is a little bit of damage around that handle I don't know if that's why there's the rubber band or whatnot but this is literally how I found her on the shelf with this rubber band on so I didn't feel like taking it off so I left it on um because I was gonna be unboxing her anyway um again I didn't really show it off but there was damage on most of the boxes that I purchased from um let's get that out of your way so we can see her gorgeous gorgeous face um we have this palm tree uh, detailing because this is part of the spring break collection or the I believe they call it Pacific Coast collection I think it may have been another school on the Pacific Coast is what I was told um, she has a pink and black bathing suit there is the watch on YouTube it literally just says YouTube so when I first saw these dolls like in the stores and it just said YouTube on it I thought it was like a scene on YouTube it's in like in unboxing videos I didn't realize that there was actually a series connected to it but I shouldn't be surprised because literally every toy has a series connected to it now and merchandise connected to dolls which is essentially merchandising on merchandising but you know it is what it is that's just where we live in so we do have um also some girls down here they are in red and yellow tones um i believe that's a boy doll there in the center huh i don't know who that is but that's okay um they are in their beachy outfits down there um because they're on vacation it doesn't seem to have any mention of her specialty but it does still have that continuation of that palm tree and some little birdies on the back we have all of them in their lovely outfits from this collection i just love the box like how it does this on the side oh there's our mention anyway we'll get there in a minute um so this is the pacific coast collection like i said i think this is another series um i almost bought this doll at walmart when i went um but i was trying to get one from each of the different collections um she's still a gorgeous gorgeous doll but i had already purchased her from target and this is like i said one that i had my eye on before um doing any of these purchases so this was a definite definite must um let's where'd it go there it is so she is a art direction focus i mean makes sense for an art school um at the top here she has this little window i don't think any of the others had this little window here at the top um, but that's kind of okay because we want to save on plastic so i don't know if we're using more plastic but that's okay we're gonna unbox her anyway and recycle all of that so somebody else can reuse it in their doll packaging hopefully all right so we have collect the rainbow as mentioned in all of them um i don't know if i mentioned it but this is another series one so so far we have a series three and then these have both been labeled as series one and this is also a series one and then my last doll will also be a series one from shadow high um so i have all series one except for our friend here she is a series three which again makes sense um with them being on sale it doesn't surprise me that we're trying to start moving because we are now have three series that were starting to move away from the series one but i'm glad i was able to get them while they were on sale before i lost them forever um and was never able to get this one because again this is one that was already on my radar for collection so because i just love this pink color all right i'm gonna go ahead and get her out of the box open all right friends so to start with i had a little bit of a shock when opening her box to find some legs so I was very confused for a moment because these did come out first because they were in the backside of here. So I did get those out first before it got her completely out of the box. But then I was very excited to see it's because she has flat feet 
So she's wearing sandals in the collection. So she came with these shoes so that if you want to put her in heels, you can put her in heels. Like how genius is that? Like, especially like for the price point for these dolls, I'm so freaking impressed. Like, because this is like, I'm sorry, but like most dolls you just go, Nope, they have flat feet, so they have flat feet. It did come with this monster of a booklet, and that very scared me, but it's actually two booklets, and it's just because it's one page, but each page is a different language, which is very awesome. Like, I love having, like, the multiple language stuff on there so that they can be sent all over and not have to be repackaged, so it's great. Um, it does explain about taking the legs off, and it shows something about lacing up shoes. However, she doesn't have lace-up shoes, so I'm guessing that's another doll in the collection, whereas, like, this one was very specifically for the doll I got. This one is just generically for this collection. Um, but yeah, I just, I love the fact that she comes with two different kinds of legs. She does not herself come with two different heels. Um, and honestly, I don't know how much of a sin it is. And frankly, they're my dolls, so I don't care. But I may be dressing her in one of the secondary outfits from one of the other dolls. Um, or one of their base outfits once I take them off. Just because I do like to take a lot of doll photography. And bathing suit is kind of limiting just because you know you can only really take it to the beach which is not exactly where I usually take my dolls because you know not exactly the safest place for them <laughs> um but still it's exciting um that's another reason why I'm not like totally against taking them out of the box because then I can use them for my doll photography which I do have an Instagram um which if all goes well, should be by the same name as this YouTube channel, um, which should be Queen Jelly's Toy Box. Um, hopefully that all goes well. If not, we'll see, but this is me while recording it, so who knows. Anyway, back to the doll. So once again, we have those gorgeous inset eyes. She has almost kind of a purpley tone to her eyes, which is kind of a nice contrast to her like pink hair. Um, again, the rooted eyelashes and a nice pink makeup job with that gold glitter going all the way around like look at that eyeliner i wish i could do that kind of eyeliner like i wish i had that talent um she has these again soft pink hair with a little bit of crunch at the bottom just because these ringlets uh hers is definitely one of the hairstyles that lasted the best in the box which is very happy with because like beachy vibes need beachy hair and i love it um, as you can see on the back, there's that big, beautiful rainbow high embroidery on the back of the hat. Rainbow high on the swimsuit. I love that it's the split back black and pink. I totally have a thing for like split down the center. Um, but the RR, because it's the mirroring of the rainbow high. Um, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't just put an H there, but I guess this brand just says rainbow. It doesn't say rainbow high, so, um. And it's just rainbow, the same thing on her shawl is that same mirrored RR um, for rainbow all the way around on her shawl. I love the addition of the shawl as well. It gives her a little bit of class so when she's sitting on the shelf, she, especially compared to all these other girls that are dressed to the nines, she has a little bit of class. She's not just hanging out in her swimsuit. She has a nice little sarong around it. Um, if that's, sarongs are usually a little bit larger, so I'm not sure if that's what this is, but it's at least a little cover up. Um, when you lift it up, it has a little bit of a gold chain decal around it. Again, with that little RR. So pretty. Um, so there's her shoes. So she has these little sandals. They do slide off a bit. Um, again, I would just be a little bit nervous about that when taking her around for photography, but it's just one of those things like Laguna's fins that I just have to kind of keep an eye on and make sure they stay safe. Um, she does come with that matching pink stand. Um, a pink comb but I did not get a hanger for her I believe it's because it doesn't come with that secondary outfit so it doesn't come with the hanger for that second outfit um but in the meantime here is she um the leg when I took her out of the box already had kind of popped off um so I'm guessing that, that means that they're pretty easy to change hopefully they're not pretty easy to lose so her hat seems to be on pretty tight. I'm not going to pull it off because um, I want it to stay on. Um, hopefully, though, her hair is fully rooted behind it. You know, the hay. No, it looks like it might be stitched on. So I'm going to leave it on for now because um, I don't want to pull her hair or anything. Um, she has really pretty lips like the others do. Ugh. I'm sorry. My commentary is kind of starting to blend all together. Um, I've been at this for a hot minute, as you can tell from the lighting quickly changing. I think I may have put her shoes on the wrong feet. 
but it's okay. We're going to move on. So we have our legs, we have our comb, and we have her accessories pack. So she has some sunglasses that actually almost kind of look like regular glasses. They're very light, which I kind of like because I wear glasses. So I kind of like that. I might keep her in those as regular glasses in a regular outfit. But anyway, so she has the matching purse and towel to go with her rainbow accessories. Um, that actually has an RH on it, unlike everything else that has that RR Bremo mirror. Um, it has the gold chains that matches it on the towel as well. I just, I love it. I love beach towels in real life. I think that this actually looks like a decently, like, size comparison to her. Um, sometimes they give you the beach towels for the sets and they're, like, this big and the doll's, like, this big. And it's, like, what doll could actually look like? You can't actually use a towel that's, like, half, that's, like, you know, like this big compared to yourself. So like this looks like a decently portioned towel. Cause look, it's like the same height as her. That's definitely looks like also the kind of towel that you would like lay out on the car on the beach and like lay back on as opposed to like a dry off towel, but you could use it for both. Um, I might wrap it around her waist or whatever, just to give her a little bit more dynamic. Um, but yeah, she is definitely, I really like her hair. I love her color. Um, I will say her skin tone though is very, um, it's, I like that it's kind of similar to like her color. Cause she's one of the ones that can kind of get away with that, with having like her skin tone almost being the same as like her base color. Um, for a hot second, I got them confused with the shadow high, which I'm peeping back here. We'll get to you. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um, where I thought that their skin tone matched their base color, but then I looked behind and realized that they don't. So, um, but hers kind of does so much that like for a second I thought that they were supposed to. And I was like, oh yeah, she kind of looks human because her skin tone is so pink. And I'm like, wait, they all have natural skin tones, which I actually did get a pretty good range of skin tones looking at it. So we have our darker girl are kind of in between a little bit more pale and then like super duper pale which is kind of funny for like a beach collection to have the super duper pale but that's fine because I'm super duper pale so I love all of them so far um again I kind of wish she had a second outfit just because like beach wear can't be used all the time but I love this character so much that I didn't care um so again, my last, or my wave one and my last technically rainbow high doll would be right here. Cause next is our last one, which is going to be our shadow high. So we're going to go ahead cause I can't think of much else to say about our friend here in her gorgeous swimsuit. So we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. We're going to add her over with the other girls and ghouls and uh, we'll get on to the last one. All right.